So what is metabolomics? Um, it's the survey of the small molecule metabolites in the body. Um, I, I think a good way to describe it is the chemical fingerprint. Um, we think of other broad survey technologies that people may have heard of, genomics, uh, microarray analysis or transcriptomics, proteomics, and then metabolomics. And what we're really talking about is the fundamental way that we process genetic information. It starts at the gene, then you make messenger RNA, you make protein, but the end result of all of that sort of genetic machinery is to affect the chemistry of the body. How so is metabolism controlled? What are the mechanisms by which metabolism is controlled? And how does that go awry in these chronic diseases? And uh, you can make metabolomics mysterious, but in essence, it's just an attempt to assemble tools that allow us to understand metabolic regulation in a very deep way. And, okay. you know, we're excited to bring uh, the tools that we've been able to develop so far in the Stedman Center uh, here to Burnham and share those with you because I think it's going to really create tremendous collaborations between our, our two centers. But what I'm even more excited about is the idea that starting from that platform, uh, you and I and our colleagues can build upon the tools and make them uh, really the best that possibly can be and really take a deep look into chemistry and metabolism. Um, what I've heard over and over again uh, from our scientists, and I agree, is that the milestone of the sequencing of the human genome, which is an incredible feat, and many would say is the most important step towards, if you will, establishing a blueprint of the, uh, an individual's disease state. But what the scientists uh, will often say is that just seeing that blueprint doesn't give us an idea about how these genes interact together and, and how the environment influences the genes. And so you and I, uh, we pretty much grew up studying metabolism and we know the power of, of metabolism and how it is influenced by the environment and diet, et cetera. And so um, we now have a, a very exciting opportunity, as you know, to try to actually get some means of interpreting this blueprint by using the power of, of measuring these metabolites. I view the comprehensive metabolic profiling that, that we do and aim to expand upon uh, to really be a way of integrating all the upstream genetic information. Because in the end, the changes in genes, the polymorphisms in genes, uh, the uh, transcript levels, how transcripts are processed, protein levels, the ultimate translation of that is to chemistry. And chemistry, that's what we're measuring. We're measuring the metabolites in the body. If we can stand for a group that defines metabolic signatures of disease versus normality, and then use those signatures to gain insight into how the disease came to be and how to treat it. Right. That is the ultimate. Cool. We have, for example, been using the tools to try to understand uh, mechanisms by which overnutrition, particularly the ingestion of too much fat or protein, uh, which unfortunately occurs in uh, American dietary practice, uh, why, does, why and how, and, and with emphasis on the how, uh, does that lead to the condition of insulin resistance, which is a, a, a tissue disorder that contributes to the development of type 2 diabetes? How do we begin to identify the individual who's at most risk for developing diabetes? Can we come up with markers? Can we come up, again, uh, using the term snapshot or, or some way to look inside and uh, using the power of the metabolomics technology that you've developed, um, this group has really begun to identify true markers of uh, individuals that might go on to develop so-called insulin resistance and, and diabetes. It might be applied to different forms of cancer, both in terms of making a diagnosis, but also looking at the severity of the cancer state, because that's always been a problem too. How do we individualize treatment for someone with this horrible disease? I don't think it's any secret, though, that the thing that most excites both me and you is that we hope that this will only be the beginning right. and that the future opportunity would be one where jointly we would be uh, developing 
um, new frontline metabolomics, metabolic analysis technologies going beyond what we've already developed. And the, the really attractive thing is if we can split that work, because there's a lot of work to do, right. and that your team takes responsibility for you know, A and B, let's say it's NMR-based metabolic flux or NMR-based metabolic profiling, these are just hypotheticals, whereas our group focuses on expanding the targeted mass spec platform and possibly flux analysis with max, mass spec. We join those, and it's back to this concept that we'll build something that's far more powerful than either one of us could do alone. That's what really gets me excited.